नमो बुद्धाय एंड वेलकम दिस इज अभिनव गुलेचा आई वेलकम यू टू दिस चैनल नाउ वी कंटिन्यू ऑन द धर्मपादा वर्सेस एंड दिस विल बी वर्स 61 टू 80 दैट वी विल टेक इन दिस वीडियो अर्लियर वीडियोस यू कैन गेट और द अर्लियर वीडियोस आर अवेलेबल ऑफ अर्लियर वर्सेस एंड देयर इज अ फुल धर्मपाद प्लेलिस्ट दैट इज अवेलेबल ऑफ ऑल द वर्सेस दैट आई हैव फॉर माय लर्निंग्स ऑन ऑल द वर्सेस जस्ट टू से दिस इज द बुक द धर्मपाद बाय एकनाथ ईश्वरन फ्रॉम व्हिच आई एम स्टडीइंग द वर्सेस इट्स अ वेरी वेरी गुड बुक आई हाईली रिकमेंड इफ यू आर इन फ्रॉम द इंडियन सबकॉन्टिनेंट देयर इज अ डिफरेंट वर्जन व्हिच इज मच चीपर दैट आल्सो यू कैन बाय द व्हिच इज अवेलेबल right uh, which is available on amazon and other places everywhere it is available so you can check right so let us start uh, okay so verse 61 says that buddha says if you find no one to support you on the spiritual path walk alone there is no companionship with the immature verse 62 which is linked with verse 61 says they think these children are mine this wealth is mine they cannot even call themselves their own much less their children or wealth. So here Buddha says the importance about walking alone on this path. So friends, what happens is in this spiritual, uh, we are spiritual, we follow the path of the Buddha and the Dharma. So what happens is a lot of people around us, they are not, I'll say that spiritually evolved, right? They are not on this path as we are. So let, let, let us not create any spiritual ego that I am wise or I am evolved, no. But you'll find a lot of people who are just sleepwalkers in this journey. They are not, they will not resonate with us. The, the importance of following the path, the goal for achieving Nirvana, they will not. So in this situation, what to do? We will feel lonely. If you are, there is a specific discourse by the Buddha. Uh, I think it's intended more for the monks, uh, a discourse on the better way to live alone. So I will cover that in uh, some other video. Uh, so, yes, it's, it will be a lonely journey if you live in a company of people who are not into the dharma. And these verses, if you see, Buddha's verses, Dhammapada verses are directed at lay people. When you are monks and nuns and you are in a spiritual community, then everyone is, has that one goal. But if we are a, a, our goal is nirvana, then we will find a lot of people around us who are chasing the smaller pleasures, the lower pleasures of sex, power, money and everything. So, Buddha says the importance that if you find no one to support you, walk alone, right? Take that decision to walk alone and uh, 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 don't feel bad about it, uh, but take that call. There is do not there is no companionship with the immature. So uh, in Hindi, we have a saying like if you make friends with a uh, with a person who is an idiot, then it is even a worse uh, than um, having a friendship with the enemy or having a enmity with an enemy, right? A friendship with an idiot is more worse than enmity with a powerful enemy, right? So don't, uh, you know, say that only when I have companionship with these people, immature people, then I will progress towards the dharma. No. Our task is to walk alone and start our progress. And what happens is, as we walk, al walk alone, raise our vibration, what this is just my experience I'm sharing, you, we will find the community of people. We will find people who resonate with us and uh, who, who are on the same level. And there are so many online, also there are so many Sanghas that practice. So you can join any particular Sangha, they are, they are there on Zoom and everything. So you will find a spiritual community. But don't rely on the companionship of immature people uh, because that, that will act as a blockage towards taking you further on your path. Right? So be prepared to walk alone. That is verse 61, 62. Next we come to verse 63. It's a long verse. 63, 64, 65. It's like a combination, three verses. The immature. So this, this 61 to 80 is more on the immature. The people's tendencies, Buddha is trying to explain. Right? So what I understand from this is, you know, what we need to reflect is, do we have such tendencies? Right? If we have such tendencies, it's time to plug those tendencies, right? Then the immature who know they are immature have a little wisdom. But the immature who looks on themselves as wise are utterly foolish. They cannot understand the dharma even if they spend their whole life with the wise. How can the spoon know the taste of the soup? Buddha gives a beautiful example. How can a spoon know the taste of the soup? soup? If he has not experienced it, he will not be able to do. It's like if you... Now, someone has not eaten sugar and you try to explain him the taste of you cannot explain 
the person has to experience so an immature person is like a spoon who cannot know the taste of the soup if the mature spend even a short time with the wise they will understand the dharma as the tongue knows the taste of the soup right so here i recollect this story that there are some people who are like burnt wood right burnt wood some spiritual seekers who are like not sorry not burnt wood wet wood right they take a lot of time and lot of you know burning to you know get that even a slight you know fire then there are people who are like gunpowder right you just bring the spiritual knowledge and near them and they'll blast because they are ready so all of us we are you know there are a lot of things also dependent upon our past lives what what work that we have done in our past lives and also one more thing is that don't criticize or condemn anyone on this path even a immature person because you don't know that immature person may hold seeds may hold that gunpowder within him of becoming a fully awakened one go back to the story of angulimal how his one how buddha's one sentence transformed buddha said to angulimal angulimal i have stopped when will you stop and that one sentence transformed angulimal right so let's not criticize anyone who is immature but important thing is to buddha is just explaining the tendency is the immature they if they think themselves as wise they are utterly foolish and how will a spoon know the taste of the spoon with the mature spend short time with the wise they will understand the dharma so this is like buddha is saying different categories of seekers are there everyone are, are on their journey okay i have made a separate video on uh, buddha's interaction with angulimal and how he got transformed you can check that video also right okay uh, verse number 66 we come to where uh, it is said buddha said the immature are their own enemies doing selfish deeds which will bring them sorrow that deed is selfish which brings remorse and suffering in its wake but the good is that deed which brings no remorse only happiness in the wake immature are their own enemies they create their own suffering through their selfish deeds and they which bring them remorse and suffering but good is the deed which brings no remorse only happiness so the buddha is trying to explain verse 69 and 70 sweet are selfish deeds to the immature until they see the results when they see the results they suffer verse 70 even if the they fast month after month eating with only the tip of the blade of grass they are not worth a 16th part of those who truly understand the dharma so again buddha here says about the tendencies of these the immature people for them selfish deeds like being attached to uh, you know the power money running after chasing material pleasures for them they it it looks for them they they find it sweet because they see that pleasure the surface level pleasure they don't see the impermanent nature of things and they just keep engro- themselves engrossed until they see the results and the results don't come instantly the results may take certain lifetimes also to manifest but but when the results come they feel the they feel the remorse and sometimes they don't even know the cause right because we are under spiritual amnesia in every life we cannot cannot go back to our past lives we, unless the person does something like a past life regression or some other way he knows the causes so then that remorse comes and we there is this question that why i am facing suffering but we are facing suffering due to our selfish deeds that we have found to be very sweet but then when the results come we know, we come to know how sour or how bitter they are buddha says even if they fast month after month eating with only a tip of tip of the blade of the grass that means practically nothing they cannot they are not worth 16th part of the person who truly understand so the important thing is understanding the dharma for understanding the dharma we need to put in some effort in study of the dharma and then practicing the dharma we doesn't you know uh, it there's no like shortcut in that right we have to give that particular effort okay let's come to verse 71 which say in which buddha says as fresh milk needs time to curdle a selfish deed takes time to bring sorrow in its wake like fire smoldering under the ashes slowly does it burn the immature exactly right so right so buddha says there is this time gap so we are living in this space time reality right we cannot escape from this in this life right so buddha says is that 
एज अ फ्रेश मिल्क टेक टाइम टू कर्डल एंड बिकम लाइक योगर्ट और इन हिंदी वी कॉल्ड दही राइट सेल्फिश डीट विल टेक इट्स टाइम टू मैनिफेस्ट द कंडीशन दैट यू क्रिएट विल टेक टाइम टू मैनिफेस्ट इन द राइट टाइम राइट सो एंड लाइक फायर बुद्ध गिव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ फायर स्मोल्डरिंग अंडर द एशेज राइट अंडर द डेड बॉडी स्लोली स्लोली दैट फायर विल कंज्यूम द होल पर्सन राइट सो बुद्ध टॉक्स अबाउट दिस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ द डीड्स मैनिफेस्टिंग इन द टाइम गैप राइट वर्स सेवेंटी टू इवन इफ दे पिकअप लिटिल नॉलेज द इम्बेच्योर मिस यूज एंड ब्रेक देयर हैंड्स इन स्टेड ऑफ बेनिफिटिंग राइट इवन इफ यू गिव दैम नॉलेज दे विल दे विल यूज इट टू क्रिएट डिस्ट्रक्शन ओनली राइट सो दे विल ब्रेक देयर हैंड्स दे विल क्रिएट सफरिंग फॉर देमसेल्स इवन इफ दे विल यूज द नॉलेज टू ब्रेक देमसेल्स वर्स सेवेंटी थ्री द इमेच्योर गो आफ्टर सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी फोर द इमेच्योर गो आफ्टर फॉर्स प्रेस्टीज प्रिसिडेंस ऑफ फेलो मॉन्स fellow monks power in the monasteries and praise from all, for from and praise from all listen monks and house householders i can do this i can do that i am right and you are wrong thus their pride and passion increase so buddha talks about the negative qualities of these immature people they go after false prestige power even in the in the monk order they try to get more power right and they say that i know what is right and you don't know what is right right and praise they they go for praise they want praise recognition these are negative qualities are in all of us in some measure so what we need to do all of us is to just be more mindful of these tendencies of seeking praise seeking power thinking that i am something and the other person's opinion is wrong at getting attached to our my own opinion right so the, all these ca- things create suffering and with by doing that see when you it's like when you uh, you know uh, practice more and more of those tendencies they mo- become more and more solidified in our mind so important is now that we are aware we are in buddha's knowledge we should be mindful of these tendencies and not give them more air right give, don't let them even ripen don't water them don't water these tendencies anymore if you don't water them then over time they will wither away verse 75 choose the path that leads to nirvana avoid the road to profit and pleasure remember this always o disciples of the buddha and strive always for wisdom so what we need to strive is towards wisdom so all if you see the noble eightfold path what it comprises first there are three categories one is ethical conduct second is mental development third is wisdom so we first practice mental conduct by observing the precepts by you know practicing the right things right uh, right speech right livelihood okay right action then we train our mind we train our mind through right effort right concentration right mindfulness and then we achieve at right wisdom which is right understanding right view right 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 intention and right view so ultimately all roads in the buddha's path also what he has given is to, going towards achieving wisdom insight prajna whatever you want to call it knowing that things are transient there is nothing permanent everything is arising and falling right so that we can free from suffering we can free from craving aversion we are free from ignorance and we are free from this cycle of birth and death so buddha urges all of us choose the path that leads to nirvana avoid the road to profit and pleasure there are two roads one leads to right conduct mental development and wisdom right you either follow that road or there is a road to profit and pleasure seeking profit pleasure greed right all these things remember this always o disciples of the buddha and strive always for wisdom right this is what buddha is 70 verse number 75 now let's come to verse number 76 onwards it's more on the tendency so, 61 to 275 if you see are more on the immature persons tendencies now buddha shows the wise persons tendencies so verse number 76 beautiful verse it says if you see someone wise who can steer you away from the wrong path follow that person as you would one who can reveal hidden treasures only good can come out of it so so this is very important because see if we see someone wise 
any teacher and we feel a resonance towards that teacher just follow that teacher that teacher will take away from all your in hindi we call it path right all your karmas all the you know wrong deeds that we have done and take us towards the right uh, path right so just follow the teacher so our teacher is uh, revered buddha so we just follow the buddha and his teachings and he will take us from the uh, you know uh, all our wrong things and take us in the right direction right so that is and only good can come out of it right of by following that teacher verse 76 verse 77 let them abnon ad- admonish or instruct or restrain you from what is wrong they will be loved by good but disliked by the bad so buddha says about the qualities of a good teacher the a good teacher practices tough love he is always not always good 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 he sometimes instructs you to do certain things sometimes restrains you right because he or she that teacher knows where you are going is wrong it will lead to suffering like the five precepts no no killing no lying no stealing no drinking right these precepts no sexual misconduct so these precepts basically buddha knows if you go down that road drinking killing you will create heaps of negative karma for you which you will have to incur suffering and pain so buddha basically is a guide or a teacher who says don't do this buddha may admonish you also right for what is wrong right so this is at the time when buddha was alive right so those teachers they will be loved by the good because they know that it is for my growth but disliked by the bad but the bad people will dislike because they don't really know the true pur- purpose of why the master is restraining or admonishing or scolding verse 78 make friends with those who are good and true not with those who are bad and fake false this again goes back to the last um, in the earlier verses we discussed in this video where buddha says if it, if it if walking on the spiritual path on the path of the dharma means walking alone let it be don't worry walk alone so buddha says make friends with those who are good and true because friendship is very important our companionship is also uh, very important so it is like said no that we are like the sum total of five people who we sit and uh, eat and with right so always we should try to make friends with people who are above our level in dharma right who are practicing dharma who are more spiritually mature than us who can be who can be a good company for us so that who can motivate us to continue on our path and not make friendships with those people who are into lower vices and da- gambling and addictions because being in their company makes such changes in us that over time like one or two months you stay with them and you will be also you will get drowned in those things so be very particular about the friends that you have the circle of friends if you find that they are bad they are not serving your your true purpose of moving towards nirvana to your goal then decide and if 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 it requires you to be then walking alone then walk alone verse 79 to follow the dharma revealed by the noble ones is to live in joy with a serene mind what else do we want we want peace of mind a serene mind just following the dharma revealed by the noble ones see understand one thing this is just i am like reflecting if you follow the dharma and the noble ones maybe you will not be you know as much successful or power or prestige or you know lo- the you know the how the society values our success is very different from what our success is valued in in this in the karmic path karmic world right so there is a, a book laws of the spirit world from which i had read beautiful verses a person who is a beggar in this world will be treated like a celebrity in the if he has done good karmas will be a celebrity in a spirit world uh, spirit world is the higher realms right where we go where we learn right so this world is basically just a test for us this dimension that we are in and the celebrity here who does the wrong acts will be treated as a beggar is treated as a beggar in that realm right so important thing is that not get a kind of a attached to to the yardsticks of success that are made in this realm in this society that we are living in 
if we practice the dharma maybe we will not earn as much or you know not as much power or cars or something material pleasures but we will have a joy with a serene mind what buddha says and what at the end of the day people want they have everything but they don't have joy they don't have peace last verse is beautiful beautiful one of the best verses in the dhammapada uh, verse 80 as irrigators lead water where they want as archers make their arrows straight as carpenters carve wood the wise shape their minds so what we have to do we have to shape our minds we have unconsciously actually shaped our minds by being engrossed in the sensual pleasures and allowing us our hatred and negative tendencies to sprout and even encouraging ourselves to practice go down the road of greed and aversion and everything now we have to be like irrigators so irrigators what they do they create channels in the fields so through those channels the water flows so water flow doesn't flow just like that here and there the water when they pour the water the water flows in those channels and goes where they want it to go so our minds we have to train such good level that our mind our thoughts go where we want them to go not that our thoughts dominate us and take us take our body to where it goes so let us think closely lot of times it is the mind that drives the body it doesn't let it rest and that is why healing doesn't take place so we need to now be master of our minds and master of our thoughts train our mind so much that we decide what thoughts we will entertain what thoughts we will encourage what thoughts we will not encourage that capability we need to nurture in ourselves like irrigators lead the waters where they want as archers make their arrows straight right archers don't have like cross cross you know uh, uh, bend arrows that bend because then it will not hit the target as carpenters carve wood carpenters carve wood because they should it should has to fit the wise shape their minds right so that's our task so i hope this video was useful it gave you some useful pointers uh we move in the next video to from avers 81 uh thank you so much for watching this video and do share your comments thoughts and feedback in the comment section thank you namo buddhaye namo buddhaye